Welcome back to another video on the channel and this is going to be a fairly short one because I've had a lot of people ask me how do I put the latest cutting edge dev build of Darktable onto a Mac. Okay, so as you can see, first off, there's the version of dark tables dev build that i am on and it is no longer the current bleeding edge so we'll click close on that and you will also see that if i go about this mac i am actually on sequoia 15.7.1 which is the latest iteration of sequoia i am not currently prepared to update to the newest operating system tahoe uh, for a lot of reasons but we won't go into that so we are going to install the latest dev build of dark table onto the latest version of sequoia which is the operating system which i think is best at the moment overall for stability so what we are going to do first off is look at where do we get the dev build from okay so the first thing i'm going to do is quit dark table and this is where we get the dev build from and this was put up actually just 43 minutes ago by martin stratton and uh, well done martin for this he's a top geezer over on the pixels.us forum or the so dark table and what we need to do is download this top version here okay and you can see it's for arm 64 if you're on an intel based machine you want that one the second one down but all we're concentrating on is the top version for arm 64 and we're going to now go and download that well i've actually already downloaded it but if you click it like that you will be greeted with this and you just go download but like i say i've already downloaded it so we are now going to quit firefox and so we are back on the main desktop of my machine and we are now ready to begin the installation process yes we are so what are we going to do first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to open up notes because there's a couple of lines of uh, terminal code uh, that we might need i'll put the two lines of code in the video description below but we are going to need at least one of these lines of code and so the next thing i'm going to do is come over to finder and we are going to open up the downloads folder yes we are and so we can see here it is this is the uh, dmg kindly supplied by martin which we've just been and downloaded so first things first the usual process is to double click on a dmg to install it and no we can't install it we get that instead um basically this is max security going haywire and going super paranoid so basically what we're going to do is click done we don't want to move it to the bin now do we and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come to system settings and we're going to go down to privacy and security and scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see here we've got a warning uh, dark table arm 64 dmg was blocked to protect your mac we will click open anyway and then we will 
click open anyway again. Admin password. <laughs> I, I'm old, but I'm not that senile. I can't remember my admin password. Yeah, just. Okay. And all we're going to do is grab the application and move it to our d uh, applications folder and we get this option keep both stop or replace we're going to click replace okay so if we now come to the dark table icon in our dock and we attempt mm, to open it um, dark table is damaged and can't be opened. Sometimes you'll get this sort of a warning. Sometimes you will get the not signed again warning. Just click cancel and come over here. And here is the line of code we want. The DMG is actually now mounted on the machine. So what we want is to get this line of code here and I will just copy that and I will come into terminal and I will command V to paste it and then it return okie dokie and now we will double click the dark table icon and there it is so it's about as well, it's not as damaged uh, as I am. <laughs> Let's put it like that. And, of course, if we just double-click, we'll take our beautiful little chucky egg of the kingfisher uh, and back into the dev module. And, as you can see now, uh, we are now running 5.3.0, uh, 717. Bloody, bloody, blah. Dirty. Dirty! It's dirty! Ooh. But it's version 717. And uh, if we go and open the downloads folder again, and there it is, 717, which is the DMG file, which we've just downloaded a few minutes ago. Yes, which was actually put up by Martin Stratton. <laughs> Just a few minutes beef all that. Yeah, yeah, cool this or what. Okie dokie. So, there we go, guys. If you um, get any troubles with um, your desktop not looking like it was or your GUI not looking like it was, it's very simple uh, to just click the settings here, open up the settings panel, go to general, I like this um, dark tables icons darker and sometimes you'll put a dev build on and it won't pick up the font size that you've set and it will all look extremely small. If that's the case, uh, if you come over to um, the general tabs in preferences, quite often you will find that it says use system fonts and that box will be checked just uncheck it and then come into font size in points and just set the point size that you want i find this works for me in general terms and so there you go so uh, ha hopefully guys and gals that's explained to you how to very simply and very easily download and install the very, very cutting edge dev build of Darktable onto Mac. Okay, in this case, it's um, Sequoia 15.7.1. I think that's the right one. Anyway, it's the last version of Sequoia before they moved over to Tahoe. Um, I'm just going to leave Tahoe for a bit because there's been quite a few problems with it <laughs> and i don't actually know if dark table will actually function under tahoe i don't know i would imagine it would do but well there you go so uh, 
that's it guys I hope you found that useful I hope you found it interesting if you have give it a thumbs up give it a like leave a nice comment below share it with your friends and I'll see you in the next video yes I will sorry for being away so long because it's been a couple of months hasn't it okay guys see you later Turu. Thank you.